Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Icon of Sin and Ultraviolence. This is map 30 from OCD Doom, and was made and submitted by Peter Hals. Oh, an Icon of Sin map. But this one is with a twist. And you're gonna find out in just a minute what it is. But for now, let's collect all the weapons. And of course the ammo. And the beloved Megasphere. Let's kill these goblins here, and then... Use the BFG to kill some monsters. With monsters, I mean chain gunners. And you can see the scrolling textures with the faces, except this one doesn't scroll, and you can just run through it for your only secret of this level. Okay. Some pinkies here. And here we have a switch. And before I press the switch, I'm going to explain how this map works. Okay, first of all, there's five monsters that you cannot kill. There's five hidden archfiles that you cannot kill in any way. So I'm going to go for 370 kills. Second of all, like all Icon of Sin maps, all the monsters that are spawned by the Icon of Sin do not count towards the kill count. So it won't it won't modify the, the kill count in any way. And third, once I press this switch, a uh, timer starts ticking down. And I think I have like 15 seconds or 10 seconds or something to hit another switch. And if I fail to hit uh, another switch, I will die. So I will keep uh, pressing switches the entire time. And that is to reset the timer so I don't die. And at the end of the video, I will explain how exactly this is uh, done. Like uh, Doom has no scripting, of course. But uh, it has some tricks to, do, uh, to uh, simulate stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to keep up this uh, very ugly HUD because I want to keep track of my kills at uh, all time. So uh, let's uh, let's go. If I don't press this switch within 15 seconds or you, can, you see the wall lowering, right? Like it's a timer. So if I don't press it before it goes fully done or if I, yeah, then I die. So I got to keep uh, juggling switches like this to move around. It's a very, very cool gimmick, actually. Anyway, there's four Icon of Sins here. There's the first one, so let's shoot a rocket into its brain. And this will initiate the first wave, and it's gonna spawn imps, as you can see. And look, the brain is bleeding, that's a cool detail. So yeah. Um, we're gonna kill the imps. And I'm gonna save most BFG ammo and rockets for until the very end. Because the first wave is just imps. Then it's uh, demons. Like the pinkies. And then caco demons. And caco demons that's when shit gets real. That's when it gets really difficult. Also really difficult to track down the final monster to kill. probably the hardest bit. Just kill everything. The map other, when he submitted this level to me, he said, uh, yeah, don't bother going for all kills. Because you're supposed to, like, go fast at this level. But I'm not listening. I'm gonna torture myself. So I'm gonna kill all the imps first, and then I will initiate the next wave, which is uh, the pinkies. Now focus mostly on the imps. Also, when you um, damage the icon of sin, it's also gonna spawn hit scanners down there. I also need to kill them. Oh, I forgot to switch. Uh oh, oh. Ooh, that was very close. I nearly died there. Also, my health is quite low. But there's four Megaspheres you can collect. I think I'll collect one very soon. So yeah, the fact that you cannot just stand still and deal with the monsters... Oh, I heard an archfall. It is very nerve-wracking. 
Did I? Okay, I need to press this switch now. Okay, where's the Archfar? I really need to kill him. It's gonna resurrect too many monsters. What the hell? Still cannot see the arch for. Yeah, let's use rockets for those hit scanners because trying to kill them with the chain on is suicide. Where is the arch for? I think he's over there. Let's get in, boys. here where are you or did he get telefragged maybe I hope so yeah maybe he got telefragged okay let's press this oh wait no okay I don't know how I survived that but that should have killed me. Okay, I think that's enough uh, imp skills. Let's go for the second wave. Um, forgetting a switch. There it is. Okay, let's go. This is gonna spawn pinkies. And I think I'm gonna use the BFG for this. There's just too many. Yeah, the third wave is the worst when the Kaku Demons appear. So far, this has been quite doable. I still don't know what happened to the Archfile, but I'm glad he's not uh, around anymore. The chance of an Archfile appearing is very low, by the way. Okay, any more pinkies that I can kill? Yeah, in fights, good. Also, this hit scanners here. I'm gonna shoot some rockets. See? Oh, I gotta press the switch. Yeah, I'll kill a couple more demons and hit scanners, and I'll go for the Kaku Demon wave. Scanners. My health is really low, by the way. Should probably grab another Megasphere. Megasphere. Kill the hit scanners. And I think I'll go just go for the final wave. I've killed enough pinkies. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. Come on. There we go. Now comes the Kaku Demons. Oh, and uh, Lost Sauce as well. This is BFG then. It's annoying skulls, I need to press the switch. 
Yeah, I'm going for 370 kills. Just a reminder. I'm not sure if those BFG shots were very efficient. Probably not. Uh, where is the switch? Here it is. Oh, crap. I lost track of the switches. Yes, yes. I love it when I can kill Kakurimas like this. But I gotta press the switch again. Okay, good. Yes, perfect. These Kakurimas are a pain to kill later. So it's good if we can like, make a cluster of them. Kill them at once. This lost sauce can go to heck. I still have 90 rockets. So, 67 enemies left. There is some Kakurimans and mostly hit scanners actually. They are at the bottom of each icon of Sin Wall. Let's go get them. If we can. Yeah, good. Also gotta be careful not to waste too many rockets, because I need them for the, the final blow. To kill the Icon of Sin. Yeah, this is quite nerve-wracking, if you cannot tell. Because of those damn switches, you gotta keep track of them. I still have a Megasphere left somewhere, I think. Not here. I've got to be careful. Thirty-two enemies left. I think it's mostly Kakulimas at this point. Let's see those hit scanners. There's one left there. Oh, I forgot to switch again. Yeah, I think it's more like fifteen seconds. Got that hit scanner, that's good. Any hit scanners here? Yeah. Also, Kakudiman, I want to kill right now. Also, some Kakudimans are spawned by the icon of sin and do not count towards the kill counts. Those are very misleading. Okay, Kaku Demon's here, let's use the BFG. Kill them quickly, and hit scanners? No, hit scanners are dead. Also, there may also be pinkies that I need to kill. Maybe there's, or maybe even imps I didn't kill, you know, from the first two waves. Uh, I'm, I lost track of my switch. There's my switch. Okay, there's a lot of Kakurimans over there. Let's see if we can land a nice shot. Also hits uh, Chain Gunners. Oh, that's a lot of them. I missed a lot of hit scanners there. Let's see if we can kill some. I think I got most of them. Come on, die Kakurimans. 
It's kind of there. It's kind of there. Okay, one enemy left. One monster left. It's probably a Kakuriman. Pretty sure it's gonna be a Kakuriman. Question is, where is he? Let's go like this, why not? It's almost over. Kako Demon, or maybe Pinky. Who knows? Maybe you? Are you my final monster? No, you're not. Any hit scanners? No. Oh, this is fun. Maybe it's an imp. No, it's not an imp. I don't see any Kako Demons. Okay, let's kill pinkies and imps as well. You never know. Nope, that's not him. Maybe it is a hit scanner. No. Seriously, where are you? Almost at the end, please. I wanna finish this level. This level's nerve wracking. It's you. You are the final kill. Yes! Okay. Now I gotta kill the icon of sin and I'm done. So, like I said, there's five arch rolls that I cannot kill. Okay, this brain is bleeding, so I already hit that face of uh, that side of the icon of sin. I really hope I don't eat a rocket. I'm gonna try to shoot the icon of sin. Okay, that one is also bleeding. Let's grab the next sphere, why not? Man, my heart is uh, crazy, going crazy. Okay, come on, final hit. Yep, got him. Damn, son. Wow, that is uh, a very nerve-wracking icon of sin and very creative. That is really cool. I like that. <laughs> I like the... You cannot stand still, you know? You gotta keep moving. And that is... You gotta focus on the demons. You gotta focus on the switches. That is a very cool mechanic. I really like it. So, like I said at the beginning, um, Doom use no scripting. So you gotta use all these uh, level editor tricks. So I'm gonna show you guys how exactly this map works. Alright, first of all, I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you don't press any switch. Like what happens if you miss a switch? What happens if the timer runs out? Well, you're gonna die, but I still wanna show it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And there it is. You just die. No warning, nothing. No sound. You're dead. Well, the question is, why do you die? Well, after you press the switch, you can see the, the wall lower next to the arch file. This is uh, outside the map. This is one of the arch files that you cannot kill. And watch what happens. So the arch file manages to teleport away when the wall is down. And then the player dies. But why? Well, here you have the icon of sin. And we're going to just no clip through the wall here. And you can see some voodoo dolls. And... The one right in the middle, like he's in the tiny, tiny room with no health files, like right here. Watch what happens. So the archfowl is uh, still stuck. He uh, hasn't teleported yet. And... Boom. He telefracts a voodoo doll and therefore Doom Guy dies. So what exactly happens when you press a switch? Well, as you can see, the arch will just teleports to the next room. So the wall that lowers, the teleporter that lowers, uh, the arch file cannot interact with it, and therefore you don't get telefracked. So each time you press a switch, the arch file moves to a next room. So uh, that is a really clever idea. I don't know if any other Watt uses something like this. I know Voodoo dolls are used like that, but like to uh, press switches on a timer and stuff. That is really creative. I like that. Also, inside the Icon of Sin wall, you may have noticed that 
It takes four hits to kill the icon of Sin, and there's only one Romero head. And what happens if what happens is you shoot a rocket, like the rocket explodes here, and then the barrel explodes, and this barrel also explodes, and then there's like this teleport line death here that teleports the barrel like close to Romero's head. And that's how Romero sets get slightly damaged, but not fully. And this voodoo doll also gets pushed back. Oh, did you see that? Oh, I missed it. I missed the uh, icon of sin getting hit, getting hit. Anyway, this voodoo doll gets pushed into like this stack of vials. So when you hit the icon of sin, you get healed. So that's another uh, interesting feature. Yeah, another thing I noticed was. Um, all these rooms here with voodoo dolls and explosive barrels. I am not sure what this is, but on the on the minimap it also has like these weird markings. Like I assume east, north, west, south, and then one, two, three, four. Maybe it's for co-op? I'm not sure. I haven't checked the level in the map editor, but I'm curious what this is all about. Because as far as I know, uh, nothing happens, like nothing is moving here. Oh that barrel exploded. Oh, never mind. Maybe something does happen. Maybe it's for each co-op player. But again, then again, what is this? You know, what is all this? There's so many voodoo dolls here, but to my knowledge, not all of them are used. And also, there's five arch files, but only one is teleported around. So um, I'm curious, uh, uh, Peter Halls, what is up with that? I, uh, those four arch files are interesting. I know one is used for teleporting around, but the other four, no idea. But yeah, cool stuff. This is a very interesting one. This is the most interesting Icon of Sin fight ever. I've ever played. I love the the idea of just running around and like being under stress the entire time. So uh, Peter Hals, thank you very much for this very interesting map. This is very well done. And... I'm definitely gonna check out the rest of the WOD if uh, all maps are as creative as, as this one. So uh, thank you very much and also uh, to my viewers, thank you very much for, uh, for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.